Good evening, everyone. Bonjour à tous. I am so happy to have the opportunity to speak to you all today. I first like to thank the team at Heritage Ottawa for inviting me to speak at today's conversation and to recognize that we gather today on the traditional and unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabeg peoples. As we discuss issues around our land this evening, I encourage you to all to reflect and recognize the long history of First Nations as the customary keepers and defenders of this land and on the responsibilities of settlers to honor the commitments of self-determination and sovereignty that we have made to indigenous nations and peoples. I also want to apologize for not being able to be there with you all in person tonight. I do hope I get the opportunity to see each and every one of you during the holiday season or in 2023. This evening, we are coming together to engage and learn more about the most pristine and unique piece of land that is our beloved Central Experimental Farm. Established in the 19th century when Ottawa was the newborn capital of a still adolescent nation, the Central Experimental Farm was founded to develop new and innovative ways for Canadian farmers to thrive in our harsh Canadian climate. Throughout the years, scientists and researchers have made many new discoveries that would lead to vastly greater crop yields for Canadian farmers in the prairies, helping turn Canada into one of the world's largest food providers. Since the farm's creation in 1886, Ottawa has changed significantly. What began as a small lumber town in the 19th century has now grown into the national capital of a G7 country and home to over a million of our neighbors. The Central Experimental Farm, once a plot of farmland on the outskirts of 1880s Ottawa, now sees itself as one of the biggest urban farms on the planet. The Central Experimental Farm is a jewel of our community, and as your Member of Parliament, I am committed to ensuring the farm is legislatively protected from any further development. That's why I am so excited to speak to you today with an important update on our work to protect the farm. Earlier this year, the Honorable Stephen Gibo, Minister of Environment and Climate Change, tabled Bill C-23 in the House of Commons. It is a new piece of legislation that seeks to improve the federal government's ability to protect places of national historic significance, and it will do a few things to help us protect the farm. One, it creates new legal guidelines for historic site protection. Two, it improves transparency. And three, it puts Canada on par with our G7 partners as a responsible steward of historic sites. Under Bill C-23, the Central Experimental Farm, alongside many other Ottawa heritage sites such as the Rideau Canal, Confederation Square, the National Art Centre, and the Dominion Observatory will be protected for present and future generations. If passed, Bill C-23 will ensure transparent, sustainable, and inclusive direction for federally owned historic sites through protection and conservation measures. It will put Canada on par with protection measures provided by the provinces and territories as well as other G7 countries. And it will also provide clear direction for conserving the heritage value of federal historic places. Finally, C23 is also a major step forward on our government's path to reconciliation. We know that Indigenous histories, heritage values, and practices have been systematically undervalued in the past, and we are committed to reversing that trend. This legislation will modify the Historic Sites and Monuments Board of Canada to integrate Indigenous knowledge keepers into the process of heritage site identification. And doing so, our governments will fulfill TRC Call to Action 79I. Bill C-23 is a game changer that will protect the Central Experimental Farm for generations to come. I am very excited about this bill. As you recall, in the last federal election, I committed to legislatively protect the farm from any further development. While this is terrific news for all of us that care so deeply about the future of this historic green space, there is still work to do. The bill remains before the House of Commons and will soon spend time at House of Commons Committee for study. I want to thank you for meeting with me and sharing your support for this bill, but most importantly, your thought on how the bill could be further strengthened. As this legislative process moves along, I look forward to continuing to work with community experts across Ottawa Centre, such as Heritage Ottawa, to ensure our farm is adequately protected in law. 
it is up to us to ensure that future generations can enjoy the beauty of Ottawa's Central Experimental Farm for centuries to come. Thank you again and enjoy this evening's conversation. Merci.